I hope you're feeling positive because this is the Introverted Positron and welcome back to the Nostalgia Nexus where we are playing um, <laughs> Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time Master Quest and we are currently in the Dongo Cavern and we're just gonna, we're just gonna do this. Yes we are, we're gonna do this one step at a time. And yeah, I, I did just remember that. I've, I've played this before. Um, I think I've done Master Quest two or three times. I think actually three or four times. Um, just in the past, because we've had this game for a very long time, like since Wind Waker came out. Thank you. Now you have access to a better place bomb. Grow, grow. Oops. I have actually completed Master Quest as well as Normal Quest for, um, like, completing it 100%. I've done both. Oh. Okay, give me stuff. I'll just buy stuff from him, honestly. Yeah, I'll buy it. Honestly, I can use it. And I have the rupees to spend, and I'll probably get that back before I even leave this place. So you know what? I'm good with that. Okay. Now then. I see you, Keys. And you... right there. Okay. Wrong side. Oh, apparently you can't do it like that. That's fine. I'll have to use that. There we go, now we can probably get out of here because it's probably all we needed. There we go. Okay, let's get out. Ba -da -ba -ba. Thank you. Door. Let's not even bother. They're just a waste of time. Okay, another mini boss. Yeah, so if I could get past those boulders up there, then I would be able to fall down here. And yes, I realize that I don't have the um, stuff that I was hoping to have. The deck nuts. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Let's do this. Come on. <laughs> the shield also works perfectly against them, which is awesome. Where's the other guy? I know he's right here somewhere. There we go. And dead. Six hits with the normal sword. Okay, done. Now then. So, the next thing we're gonna probably do. Yeah, it's this room. Oh boy, do I remember this room. Oh yeah, that's right, they took all the Dongos out of it. <laughs> there used to be the Dongos in here. Woo, doors open. Oh. Ooh, Deku Nuts. Deku Nuts are something I can, uh, I can be okay with uh, getting sidetracked to get. Oh, that's a keys. <laughs> no! Bad keys I can't target for some weird reason. Gotcha. Give me hearts. That's not a heart. I wanted a heart. Heart. Wherever that skull chill is, I don't even think I can get it. I think it's pretty high up. Yeah. Can't get it yet. Okay. Bye bye. That was pretty useless, except for the Deku nuts. Uh, let's take a look around. Oh yeah, there's pose in here. We're for the most part just going to ignore them. 
I actually don't know, uh... Yeah, we're, we're just going to ignore them as much as we can. Because they're annoying to fight, especially as a child. Okay. I don't see any torches I can use either. Well, let's try that one more time. Yeah, shoot. Okay, there might be hints in here. Yes, I know you're there. Okay, good, there's a bomb right here. Problem solved. Boop. Yeah, so the reason why I don't consider a fairy's death is because it's basically like having a potion that activates when you die. So, it's just the same thing. It'd be like if I had a bunch of red potions that I could just have on hand. Except that they automatically activate when I hit zero. Which is why I have them around, because they're more useful than red potions, because they can revive me from zero, so they just recharge more in general and give me more total health to work with. I'm just using the resources in the games and keeping it to three hearts. But that being said, I'm going to not double my heart, uh, double my defense rather, because that would be, uh, I think, cheating in my, in my perspective right now. And, uh, right, I, first thing I thought I didn't actually <laughs> change the episode. <laughs> I, I did, thankfully. <laughs> oh, I'm here. Okay. Um, so we're actually not done the dungeon yet. There's still another section that isn't too, whoa. okay, that works. That isn't too long, but nonetheless we need to do it. So, yeah, when it says, when that stone says that, uh, the path will open when the Dodongo's uh, eyes turn red. It means throw a bomb on the eyes. <laughs> I love the puzzles in the original dungeon, just like the, the big ones like that, because it's just, it, they're so creative in the way that they're done, just like in terms of like how they're basically done. Especially the uh, web in the first dungeon, which you normally jump through. I love that puzzle. I love the fact that it uses those kinds of resources because you have nothing else to work with. And it's awesome. It's also a way of teaching you how to do like a jump strike, but it's still cool to see. Okay. They got each other. Perfect. Or, not each other. I got one and the other one got the other. Okay, so... The point of this... Is, uh, that's the door to the boss. And we just need to get up there. So there's one final area that we need to get through, and then we'll be at the end. Oops. Yes, I know, you're annoying. It's giving me surprisingly little. There we go, at least I got bombs. And I still have a fear anyway, I'm not worried. Especially since the boss is pretty easy. Oh, hi. I can't see anything, but I can tell from the sound what's going on. There we go. So, this is also a little intuitive. Unintuitive. Intuitive? Um, but that's okay. Like, I, I still really like the way this is done. Obviously, I like the Master Quest more than the original version. I love both. Um, but having the Master Quest with, like, a little bit more clever um, executions of things is just, it's really cool. Um, but yeah, if you look on the other side of the lead, yeah, there's a switch. So all you need to do is use this to throw that over, and there we go. Halfway opened. Yeah, and that's another one I believe I can't get until I'm an adult. The Sculptula, that is. Oh my god, she's not. Uh, we'll deal with them in a minute. Oh, 
Oh yeah, now we're being forced to fight. That can also go through the walls. So if I'm careful with the way I do this. Basically, just gonna throw a bomb at it until I win. No! That was a very mean thing to do. There we go. I don't care. It drops a postal, but I, I don't need the postal, a soul, or want it. So, I mean, whatever. Okay. I do wonder what's under here, though. Of course, it's a chest that shouldn't be able to fit where it was. What else would it be? Okay, so as you can see, there's a bomb spot right there. I'm gonna see if I can bypass uh, these quickly. Yeah. Uh, climb up. <laughs> They're all enemies, but I'm not gonna bother with them. Oh, and I can get up there. Give me Skulltula! I already dealt with that guy down there. I'm not gonna bother killing with him again. Okay, moving on. Oh. Even better. Drink the potion, grab the fairy. Got it. Okay, done. <laughs> and yeah, we have enough time to beat the boss. Awesome! 40 minutes dungeons is about what I want to spend, so that's perfect. Come on. Move! Well, I guess more like 15 minutes, but still. Anything like an hour and under is usually pretty good for a dungeon. Especially in Master Quest. Okay. Open boss time! Boss time! I love the bosses that I find. Okay. Uh, you give me bombs. It might actually. It's a hint. I, they, they love leaving hints there. Like, here's a chest, here's an item. You might already have a lot of it, but we're just telling you what you need to use. I love that kind of design. This is pretty easy, though. Especially with the shield I have on. Still a cool boss and, like, very iconic to me for whatever reason. But, or a very iconic boss in a lot of ways. Um, especially since it's a it's a redone version of the boss that was the original but Goma and the Dongo are both redone bosses that were in the first Zelda game. Whoop. I'm just gonna Oh shoot! I forgot how this worked. No, I messed that up. Okay. <laughs> Can't believe I messed it up. Yeah. Okay, let's, let's do this again, and I'm gonna get out a Deku stick because I might as well use that. Or I can just... Okay. That sucked. It was totally my fault. Apparently I suck at this boss. I've never had this kind of issue with this boss. This is like one of the fastest bosses to be in the game. And I'm messing it up. Okay. Good, he ate it. Okay, we did lots of damage now. Lava for a second. <laughs> okay, apparently. Okay, got it. That's all that I really care about. There. 
See, that's all I needed to do. It's really quick. <laughs> Two jump strikes, one with a dagger stick. I could have finished it like a minute ago. If I were speed running, this would be so bad. Uh, well, we're done. That's the Dongo. Nope. <laughs> I almost went for the heart container. That would have been bad. <laughs> beep, beep. Woo! We're outside now. Oh yeah, this is actually pretty clever. Like, not, not the scene, but what they do with it. It's me, Darunia. Well done! Thanks to you, we can once again eat the delicious rocks from the Dongo's Cavern until our stomachs burst. What a wild adventure, it will make an incredible story. I can't believe that the Dongo's suddenly appeared in such great numbers. And that big rock blocking the cave. All this trouble must have been caused by that Gerudo thief. Ganondorf. He said, Give me the spiritual stone. Only then will I open the cave for you. You, on the other hand, risk your life for us. Kid, I like you. How about you and I become sworn brothers? No, there's no big ceremony involved. Just take this as a token of our friendship. Woo! We got the second spiritual stone! The worst part is he had it the entire time. You know, he says Ganondorf told me to give it to you. I mean, told me that I'd only open the cave for you if uh, if you gave me the spiritual stone. And then Link is like, uh, and then he's like, I'll only give you the spiritual stone if you open the cave for me. So it's like, huh. <laughs> it's the same deal. Although, admittedly, Ganondorf probably closed it himself. But still. <laughs> uh, you don't need know what he means by Swarm Brother, but you've collected two spiritual stones. You have one more to find. Okay, here we go. Brother, you'll keep brushing up on your skills as you travel, won't you? You should see the great fairy on top of Death Mountain. She will power you up. Hey everybody, let's see off our brother. One, two. <laughs> you did great. How about a big Goron hug, brother? <laughs> Yes, yes. Okay, but now we can actually go up uh, Death Mountain, which is kind of the idea. Okay, apparently that was close enough. Um, there is a hole up here that we can go into, but I don't really want to go into it. Let's just wait a second. And, ooh, that was a little bit closer than I needed to be. Ah. Really? There we go. Woo, rupees! See, we're almost at 99 again. <laughs> yeah, so the other reason why I still have this shield on is because uh, where we're about to go, we're going to use it. Okay, although it's not giving me enough- Oh right, I just have to hold it and while the- it stops. I forgot about that. Yeah, we need to wait for the eruption to stop. There we go. And just wait. So much waiting. Admittedly, I think this lasts a little too long, but... Oh well. It's gonna end eventually. Oh, I'm almost there. Come on. Okay. 
Got that one. Okay. Should be set. By the way, everything in the overworld um, has nothing to do with the Master Quest mode. Everything in the overworld is exactly the same. Uh, that doesn't change between games. It's just the dungeons that change. Hi. You're kind of creepy. Uh, normally I would actually go get a heart piece right now because I have enough time to do so. Uh, but we're not doing that right now. Nope, not doing it at all. Hello! Uh, this, uh, we see the symbol for the royal family. So we play Zelda's Lullaby. Woo! <laughs> Ah, I agree, fairy. Give me stuff. <laughs> Welcome, Thomas. I'm the great fairy of power. I'm going to grant you a sword technique. Receive it now. Oh, that's, uh, that's, that, that's, that, that, that's a view. <laughs> it's a view. <laughs> I can't help it, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, hold B to charge your weapon. Release B to unleash a wave of energy with your spin. If you want to release energy without charging your weapon, just rotate once and press B to uh, for a very effective quick spin. When you charge power for a spin attack, magic power, magic power will be consumed. Pay attention to your green magic meter. Hey boy, you're a messenger of the royal family, aren't you? Next time you're in their neighborhood, you should drop in on a friend of mine who lives by Hyrule Castle. She'll surely grant you another new power. When battle has made you weary, please come back to see me. Okay. I'm gonna go get that, by the way, because it's right there. Uh, how are we doing for time? We're actually over time. Okay, so we're gonna end off here. We're gonna actually come straight back here next time. Um, and then we're going to uh, just continue. <laughs> So see you next time. Bye. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. It really helps with the channel, and it's always appreciated. I'm going to leave some links here so that you can go check out some other stuff on my channel, or you can always just search the channel. There's lots of stuff for people, playlists, and all that stuff. Um, and so on that note, thank you again. Have a great day, and remember to keep positive.